boy, I guess I'm getting older because I notice in this interview I keep kind of laying claim to certain, you know, things I did, um, as if for the record. But, uh, well, one of the things I, I did, and many people did it at the same time, was at the end of the beauty myth, I m made up an assertion <laughs> that there was a third wave of feminism. Now, I didn't lie. I knew many, many women were ready to be part of a third wave, but there was no such thing at that time, and I'd never heard the phrase, uh, to my knowledge. And um, So I said it was out there, and, and I did that tactically as a branding strategy because, of course, with movements that are fermenting and bubbling up, if you name them, you the media circles around the name, and then it creates a reality. Um, and then the third wave burst out all over. Other women, like uh, Rebecca Walker, also used the same phrase at about the same time. Um, but having, so it's better than having no third wave. Best of all, though, is to institutionalize feminism so that it doesn't come in waves, because if it comes in waves, then you have this thing that happens historically again and again and again where um, the intermediate generation forgets, and then they have to reinvent the whole damn thing from the start.